Commander of Iranian Navy Force Rear Admiral Hossein Kenzardi broke the news on Saturday and added, this vessel has special features and would join to Iran's Navy fleet next Iranian calendar year. While expounding on the latest situation of manufacturing Shira's warship, Kenzadi said, presently, construction operation of this surveillance warship is underway, so that construction of the structure of this new vessel, which enjoys specific features, has been completed. Shira's surveillance warship has the necessary capabilities in the field of radar detection, telecommunications, sonar and management of various emissions in electromagnetic warfare, he said, adding, moreover, the warship is equipped with other capabilities, such as knowing frequency band, identifying various parameters of radar and radio waves, as well as identifying enemies' telecommunication systems, which is considered an important issue in the field of information warfare. Elsewhere in his remarks, Rear Admiral Kanzadi pointed to the preliminaries of constructing Trimran vessels and added, construction of this vessel, which weighs more than 3,000 tons and has good offensive capabilities, is on the agenda of Iranian Navy, so that its conceptual and detailed designs have also been carried out. The plan for the construction operation of this vessel will begin in the coming years. Turning to the high capabilities and potentials of talented manpower in the Iranian Navy force, he said, today, country's Navy force has reached a level of capability that is able to meet its needs in the country, relying upon its experienced youth and competent professional manpower at Trimran, or double outrigger, is a multi-hull boat that comprises a main hull and two smaller outrigger hulls, or floats, that are attached to the main hull with lateral beams. In 2015 Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Deccan visited the latest homemade equipment of Iran's new under-construction warship, Shiraz. During his visit to Iran's first marine zone in the southern port city of Bandar Abbas on Wednesday, General Deccan was briefed about the construction of Shiraz warship, which is a research vessel, and a little smaller than Iran's first home-made destroyer, Jamran, in size. No detailed information has yet been released by the Iranian Defense Ministry about the new warship. Jamran was launched in late February 2010. The Moj-class vessel has a displacement of around 14,000 tons and is equipped with modern radars and electronic warfare capabilities and is armed with a variety of anti-ship surface-to-surface and surface-to-air missiles. Also, Damavand, the second-generation and highly equipped Iranian destroyer, joined the country's northern fleet in March in a ceremony participated by General Deccan, Secretary of Iran's National Security Council, SNSC, Ali Shamkhani, Iranian Navy Commander Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayyari, and head of the Self-Sufficiency Jihad Department of the Iranian Navy, Rear Admiral Ali Kalamzadeh.
In an interview with FNA at the time, Kalamzad elaborated on the features and specifications of Damavan and said, the seven-story destroyer is 90 meters in length and armed with advanced anti-surface and anti-subsurface weapons and air defense systems to defend itself. Noting that the homemade ASRA phased array radar system, capable of detecting and identifying targets with a radar cross-section of 4 meters in a 200 kilometers distance, had been mounted on the destroyer, he said, base-controlled radars, a highly advanced propulsion and command and control systems which enjoy high power and capability, are only a few of the systems mounted on Damavan destroyer. Kalamzada said in addition to combat operations, Damavan could also be used for training and naval missions, adding that it had been equipped with systems to be used for electronic warfare. The operational radius of Damavand is so vast that it can sufficiently be used for all naval missions in the Caspian Sea, he underlined. In recent years, Iran has made great achievements in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing essential military equipment and systems. Iranian officials have always stressed that the country's military and arms programs serve defensive purposes and should not be perceived as a threat to any other country.